the thing that's interesting about the second season is that uh, the CDC scientists arrive on this island because they're investigating a new outbreak that happens on this Windjammer cruise ship. And then they end up getting into the island and discovering this mysterious cult that's there. My character comes to the island, but I come separately. So um, what's interesting about my story is that she is still central in the story that she's a part of. So there's a couple of things going on, but her story is, um, you know, we're going to pick up some elements of what happened to her at the end of the, the first season, which was pretty extreme. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely isolated from the rest of the cast in the beginning. Um, so there's a lot of interesting mysteries there behind her. All I can tell you is that the cult, it, the show gets darker. The show gets um, the envelope of what people are willing to do to each other gets gets kind of pushed to the limit. It's so it's, it's going to be more psychological. Well, I think the first season was very psychological um, because being trapped in the Arctic, it's another character, and and just being in that situation in that environment of not knowing how you're going to survive, uh, people start doing things that they wouldn't typically do if they were in, you know, a different kind of environment. So um, I think it's always been a psychological thriller, and that was one of the best pieces of the show. And this season, um, we keep going into that. What, ha what happens to the mind when all kinds of things. <laughs> Great question. I hope so. Uh, when I went to Comic-Con, there was a big crowd of people when I was stepping out to go and do these interviews, and I saw this big sea of people, and it was kind of overwhelming. And there was uh, maybe a 15-year-old girl standing there with my picture, and she had been waiting there all day for me to sign it. And that is something I'm never going to forget, because what I loved about the way they first wrote this character was that she's just a full-bodied, interesting person. And I worked very hard that when she's being strong, she's still being feminine. That we don't have to turn her into a macho character or we don't have to turn her into the evil woman in the business suit in order for her to get her way. Because let's face it, a lot of times in the past in film and TV, we make these stereotypes about women. They're e either, you know, nasty or they're, you know, a doormat, or they're, you know, bossy. like, uh, bossy, or they're, like, all of these negative things. And the truth is, is that she's just a person. I mean, now she's an immortal person, but <laughs> she's she's got a lot of colors, and I wanted to make sure that when they started, because the journey for her was so strong and huge, I wanted to make sure that when the arc was moving her into being powerful, that I didn't turn in, her into a macho character. I wanted to keep her femininity. That was really important to me. So I worked with the writers on that and I'm hoping that um, she continues to be as strong as she is because she's very female. I had no idea what was going to happen. I knew um, I knew that the only thing I knew was that I was Alan's ex-wife and there's definitely some history that has to come up because of what happened and the affair and all of these things. But um, I had no idea how central and important her character would be. And I thought it was really great because the fear is, even though she was written really well, the fear is that, okay, I'm going to be the ex-wife and that's it. But the truth is she has her own story and she's there for reasons that are outside of her relationship to this man. And I think that that was really important. And um, it was uh, empowering for me as far as where I could go with this character. And the second season just um, just goes further with that. It's every, I, I, felt, I feel like every new episode I have a brand new journey that keeps growing and changing. And um, that's the exciting piece about her. Yes, there's um, a lot of the mythology that was established in the first season. Those answers, those answers will come up in the second season. Um, it goes through a lot of interesting elements that are a new surprise, and because we're in a whole new place, uh, there's a uh, there's a lot that unfolds. But 
things will get answered and uh, it's there's a lot of shock.